Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so soon. Uh, two videos in one day, that's right. Uh, so, along with the uh, St. Patrick's Day themed soap that I looked at, the Shamrock Soap from Duke Cannon, I also picked out something else. And it, this is something that I've never looked at before in my life. So, what I'm going to do is show you guys the product, and then I'm going to use it, give my thoughts, and all that good stuff. I'm holding my son real quick, because uh, he's been, you know, extra whiny, so. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one-handed, you know, what's what's the big deal? Anyway, so we're looking at Duke Cannon's Shampoo Puck, okay? Duke Cannon's Shampoo Puck. Uh, super concentrated, outworks five bottles of that liquid stuff. Uh, over 175 squeaky clean washes. Incredibly long lasting. So, I don't know, incredibly long lasting. I guess they just mean, uh, you know, just the, the puck itself. Hopefully not like the soap, because that would just be weird. You know, like if lasting in your hair, maybe? I don't know. The Undisputed King of Lather. Well, that's debatable. So, you know, slow down there, Mr. Cannon. So this one is Gold Rush Fever. If you, uh, hopefully, let me get my face out of there. Gold Rush Fever. That's something else. We turn it over on the back. I paid $13 for this, by the way. So hopefully this works. Hopefully it works decent. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, like I said, I'm going to use it uh, here in a minute when I shower. And I'm going to I'm gonna follow up with you guys and, you know, show you guys or give you guys my honest opinion on this stuff. Uh, so it this contains, you know, the shampoo puck gold brush fever contains menthol to stimulate scalp, oat kernel protein for hair strength, argan oil, argan oil to condition hair. Okay. Uh, beware of imitations. And then it just kind of goes over all the BS stuff. Do not allow anyone to sell you inferior lather, for there is but one original, genuine, undisputed king of lather, and that one is Duke Cannon. Make sure it's Duke Cannon brand. You know, like I said, Duke Cannon, you need to, like, pump them brakes there, sir. Your, uh, your products are decent, some of them anyway, but a lot of them are duds, so just keep that in mind, Mr. Cannon. Uh, once again, got a nice product made in USA. I don't know if you can make that out or not. Let me move my big old noggin. But yeah. So, a portion of proceeds benefits U.S. veterans, just like all the other Duke Cannon products out there. So that's still something that's, you know, that I appreciate, even though you are the undisputed king of lather. Okay. Uh, naturally derived fragrance. Okay, so but I, I, I don't necessarily know what that means, but it is what it is. Uh, if you're interested, this whole list right here is the ingredients list. So if you're interested at all, go ahead and pause the video if you can, if you can even read it. Go ahead and pause the video, take a look at it. Uh, it's got a bunch of uh, a bunch of chemicals in it. Unlike some other brands, so that's something to be aware of. If you are looking for a shampoo that is more uh, natural, this is definitely not it. So, you know, keep that in mind. But that's not necessarily something that I always look for, because I, I, I'm a big fan of, like, I've been using, like, Harry's, which isn't necessarily natural, but Harry's has been good. And I also love Head & Shoulders, so natural shampoo is not something that I really care about. Uh, unlike soap. I do love natural soap. Anyway, so this one in particular comes in this black tin can. I'm sure they got other ones, different different colors, but the Gold Rush Fever comes in the black tin can. And uh, we're going to take a look at the puck itself. So right off the bat, you can immediately tell it's a Duke Cannon product because they got their big D stamped right in the middle. Or, well, you know, kind of towards the bottom, but, you know, you get what I'm saying. Big Bold Lather. So, okay, that's a very odd scent. Um, I'm not necessarily sure how to take that, because... 
If you want my honest opinion on the scent, it smells like a mosquito candle. It smells like one of those little mosquito candles that you light to, to keep and repel away uh, bugs. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So, you know, big, bold, big, bold lather, king of lather. This sucks. It doesn't smell that great. So you better make up for it when I wash my friggin' hair with it, all right? Anyway, uh, once again, I'm going to take a shower here in a minute. And uh, I'll give you guys my feedback. So I'm pretty sure this is, it says shampoo puck. But it does say uh, argan oil to condition hair. So I don't know if this is a, a, a shampoo that I need to follow up with conditioner. But uh, we will. We will find out. Stay tuned. So I finally got out of the shower. I, uh, you know, got the wet hair going on, the wet beard and stuff. Uh, so with the Duke Hannon shampoo puck, it's time to give my final thoughts. So unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It does lather up really, really well. It's uh, it lathers up really good. Uh, however, even with the argan oil, uh, I'm one handed now because I have my son. So. Uh, so, it says argan oil to condition hair. Well, I knew that wasn't necessarily going to be enough. I thought maybe it would be. Maybe I would get out of the shower without having to use a separate conditioner to condition my hair. Unfortunately, I didn't. You know how when you use a shampoo that leaves your hair feeling very hard and stiff? That's exactly what this thing does. So, if you buy the shampoo puck, make sure you have... A conditioner on standby and you know unless you don't care about how your hair feels then you know do do you but if you hate that stiff headed feeling of, of like hard hair then you have to have a conditioner on standby fortunately I did so that's good but uh, now it does what it's supposed to do okay mm. there you go throw the passy uh, but uh does what it's supposed to do. It washes hair. It smells not terrible, but not that great. So I think all in all, what is it, bud? Hmm. I guess he's hungry, so I'm gonna go. Uh all in all, I give this maybe a four out of ten. It doesn't smell that great, doesn't condition your hair, and uh, it's more of an annoyance. So just stick with liquid. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing. There's new content coming constantly, uh, you know, maybe sporadically now that I have a newborn. But there's content coming. All right, content coming. And I got plenty of content on the channel. So check it out. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.